Good morning. I'm Sharon O'Brien with Catholics for Family Peace in the National Catholic School of Social Service. Thank you for both of those opening remarks. My question is um, a bit off-center, as long as we have the time. I wondered if you wanted to take a couple minutes and tell us more about the Catholic project, um, about the, uh, the aims, kind of who's involved, um, if that's a good use of time. I like this question. I did not plant this question. I promise. <laughs> Uh, the, the Catholic Project uh, began in response to the events of last summer. It became clear uh, to President Garvey that, that something needed to be done and that there was work that uh, this institution, Catholic University, was uniquely suited to do and, and ought to be doing. Um, it's not just an institute of, of higher education. This is, this is the... The, the University of the Catholic Church in the United States. Uh, so there's a responsibility to do something here and to do it in a way that is, is robust and makes full use of the, the, the faculties and resources that we have here, um, but is also uh, faithful. Um, and, and so ideas started being passed around and floated around, how can we respond? Um, one, not, not to, to, to exclude the, the School of Theological and Religious Studies. One of the things that I like to use to explain to people just why Catholic University is so well suited to this is we have the only canon law faculty in the country. Um, we also have a, a, a School of Social, Social Work, NCSSS. So the, the, range, the, the, the broad range of issues that we can address through, through the faculties that we already have is really unique. Um, the work of the Catholic Project uh, is really diverse. Part of it is the conferences you're seeing now, which the uh, Institute for Human Ecology was, was helpful enough to get started before there was such a thing as the Catholic Project. Um, uh, NCSSS is working on putting together certificate programs. They're doing great work bringing together bishops and survivors for conversations that are actually fruitful, not just antagonistic, but, but um, uh, wounded members of the church who are, who are actively helping to, to heal the church in a, in a really remarkable way. Um, we've had events for students to include uh, a generation that doesn't remember 2002, a generation that is, is um, sort of experiencing this trauma in real time in a new way, um, but is also a generation that, frankly, is going to have to clean up a lot of the mess that they didn't cause. Um, we have, in addition to our canon law faculty and our, and our law faculty, um, there are a lot of canonical issues and legal issues, obviously, but how those interface is, is itself its own question. Uh, so we're looking at ways to, to use our, our canon law faculties and law faculties to explore those. Obviously, there are theological questions. Uh, and the folks at TRS have been, been really, really helpful and thoughtful in, in, in not only presenting at conferences like this, but in, in helping to provoke ideas about what we should be thinking about, what we should be um, responding to. Um, we've worked in collaboration with the bishops. That's another thing, too, is that um, I've always said that, that reform in the church, renewal in the church, uh, if it is to come, will come through Peter and the apostles, or it won't come at all. There's no Catholic church without, without our bishops, um, as frustrating as that may seem at times, right? Um, and it doesn't mean that, that they'll be the first ones to come up with the idea that ends up working, but we can't, we can't go on without them. Um, uh, we need them. They need us, and, and it's a spirit of collaboration and co-responsibility uh, uh, that is the way forward. And Catholic University is a perfect place, well positioned to do that, and so we're engaged in that work. We're still getting started off. We have a, a website that's going live today, thecatholicproject.org, um, and we're, we're excited to get this work underway um, and to, to see where it takes us going forward.